Hi, welcome to my game. It's called The Maze of Evangelion 1.01, You Are Not Lost. It's a reference to the 90s anime series called Neon Genesis Evangelion, for those that don't know. This game was made for one of my university modules, and I used C++ and OpenGL to make this game. So a little description of this game. It's a top-down maze traversal game with first-person shooting elements in it. So you, the player, traverse through the maze, turn on all the switches from red to green to open a golden gate and escape the horrible maze. But the thing is, you have to do this while fending off enemies. But before I jump into the game, I want to show off the maze generation. The maze is procedurally generated, so that means each time you start the game, the layout of the maze is different. So the player will have a different experience each time they play the game. So let's see this in action. So this is one example of one of the many different maze layouts that's generated. You guys might want to print screen this layout so you can compare it with the next layout. Also, take note of the positions of patrolling enemies, the golden gate, and the orange shield pickups. So if you compare the layout of the two mazes, they're different. You guys can find out how I implemented this procedural maze generation feature by reading my report that I've linked in the description below. So now that I've shown the random maze generation, let's look at how you play the game. You can move the robot with the traditional WASD scheme. You can perform a melee attack by pressing the spacebar, but the catch is that once you've entered the melee attack animation, you can't move or run away until the animation is finished. So it's important to carefully time the melee attack, otherwise you're vulnerable to enemy attack. You can pop a temporary shield by pressing the F key as long as you have octagon tokens. The number of octagon tokens you currently have is shown on the HUD. You can sh aim and shoot the gun by using the mouse, but once you've fired one shot, you have to wait some time before you can shoot again. Let's take a look at the HUD. On the top left corner, we've got the number of switch boxes left that needs to be switched on in order to open the golden gate. On the bottom left corner, we've got the health bar, the shield remaining time bar, and the number of octagon tokens we currently have. In this case, I have two tokens, so I can activate one shield now and activate the remaining one later. Shield activated. The player has two ways of attacking the enemy. One is a melee attack. See how I can't move until the attack animation is finished. The second is aiming and shooting. See how the reticle is red? I'm clicking and clicking, but you can only shoot again when the reticle is green. The enemy AI is controlled by finite state machines, which is a system where the enemy has a finite number of states that it can transition to and from. For example, the little grey enemy can go from patrolling to shooting once the enemy is within shooting range, or it can go from shooting to melee once the player is within melee range. The other enemy type, the Xenoid, is spawned into the game world when the player collides with one of the switch boxes. The Xenoid finite state machine looks like this. The most interesting behaviour of the Xenoid AI is the chase state, where it chases the player around a level. The Xenoid AI calculates the shortest path to the player by using the A-star algorithm. Thank you for watching this video, and peace out!